everyone, I'm Paige. Hey everyone, I'm Destiny. And we are Legally Led by, by the Lord. Lord. So on this week's episode, we're going to talk about being a servant and what that looks like as far as being a servant in Christ and how that translates into being a servant in the legal profession. But before we start that, we're going to start off with prayer and Paige is going to lead us. Lord, we thank you for life, health, and strength. And God, we thank you just for another opportunity to come in front of your people and bring a word. Lord, That we, we pray that this word is one that will bring understanding to your people. We pray that it's a word that will bring us all closer to you. God, we ask that in this moment, you would decrease us and increase you so that all the people see is you, oh God. So Lord, we just thank you for this opportunity. And in your son, Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. Thank you, just pray, honey. That was a good prayer right there. That was good. Okay, was come really on. Good. Especially when you said, oh God, I love oh God. <laughs> oh, whew, You know ooh. what? Come get her, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so we're going to get started. This week, we're going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, but I think that this is a very, very important. Did you just shake your head? No. <laughs> y'all, we said this last week and we was on here for 45 minutes. I mean, that's true. But y'all okay. heard who was doing the majority of the talking, right? Okay. So I'm going to keep it short and sweet this week because I just want to give y'all a few nuggets of information, but I think it's something that's very simple, but very, very vital to your walk with the Lord and also your walk in the legal profession. So first we are going to just start off with the fact that we're going to start with Mark 10 45, which says for even the son of man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So I wanted to start off with that scripture in particular, because that is directly talking about Christ and how he came to be a servant himself. And so we are to pattern our lives and pattern ourselves after him. And so if he was able to be a servant to others. It is our duty and it is our job to be a servant as well. And I think our first assignment in life outside of anything that we do is to serve others as Christ would want us to do. And so then that leads me to our next scripture in talking about how we are supposed to be ambassadors for Christ. And I really, really love that scripture because when you think of an ambassador for a nation, that person is going out into the world and representing whatever entity or whatever nation they are supposed to represent. And so as ambassadors, we are supposed to be ambassadors for Christ. And so we are supposed to show his love, his compassion, and his service to other people. And so how I really want to just tie that in is when we take the oath of being a law student or when we go to law school, we take a professional oath. And a part of that oath is to be a servant. And I know Paige is familiar with when we have to do pro bono hours. And that's basically when you use your legal knowledge and your whatever you're doing as a a lawyer to help somebody in the community. And typically you do that for little to no cost. And so when I think about pro bono work, I think about basically just being a servant of Christ. So I think that's why both of us are very excited about doing community service always and always being very engaged with the community not only just because like you know when you do community service it makes you feel good but we also know that we're doing it for a greater purpose that it's not just for the legal profession but it's also for the larger body of Christ and I think we just really hope that when people see us in the service that we do they're not just seeing us but they're seeing the light of Christ shining through us and so I think that's just very very important as a servant Got anything to say? Yeah, real quick, y'all. Um, the only yeah, thing exactly the <laughs> I'm going to say is I think sometimes um, when people do service nowadays, it's like we're the ones when we do service, we're the ones that get the glory for it. Mm-hmm. And it's, that shouldn't be the case at all. Like we do one nice thing, yet we're the ones who are celebrated. And really, like like she said, the whole purpose of us serving other people is really to glorify God. Yep. That's exactly what Jesus did. And that's what we should do. So I just want to remind you, like, just remember your why for why you're doing these things. You're not doing it to, like, take a post to put it on social media 
to like say, oh, we did this great thing. We serve these poor people yep. because then it's like those people are now people are looking at them and they're pitying them and they look like they're lesser than you. And now you're the one getting the glory and God's getting none of it. So just make sure that when we're, you're, you're doing these things, you're doing it with a pure heart. And I think that is so good. And I think that that ties in perfectly with my absolute favorite scripture, which basically says, and whatever you do, do it as if you're doing it for God and not for man. And I think that that is just so important when you think kind of just going off what Paige was saying you have to think about your motive behind what you're doing because I think another part about being a servant and being an effective servant is your heart so you have to see what your heart posture is like when you're serving like am I doing this so that I can have something to post on Instagram am I doing this so I can say I have this many community service hours or am I doing this truly for the edification of of God and to serve people that are truly in need as I would want others to do for me. And I think that is just so, so very important. And so that leads me to my final scripture, which is Galatians 1 and 10. And I have this scripture on my bathroom mirror because I think a lot of times when you do get recognition for things, you may not initially be doing stuff for recognition, but when you get it so much, sometimes it it gives you the big head and you have to get back and get back grounded and say, mm, you know, getting recognition, getting awards for these things are nice, but that's not what I'm doing it for. And so that's basically what Paul is talking about in Galatians 1 and 10, where he says, for am I now seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. And I think that's just so good because if you are worrying about the accolades, if you are worrying about doing service and doing different things for what other people are going to say about you, then you really need to check yourself because you have to say, what am I truly doing this for? And just see what your motive is behind that, because you want to have a pure heart when you're leading in service. Yeah. I think the only thing I would add is sometimes like, if like what you're saying that it's easy for pride to sneak in mm. when you're doing these types mm -hmm. of things and pride is like really, really bad. And pride will have you taking credit for something that God has done and Come you on. don't give God the credit. And so one of the things we talk about like at my church a lot is how when we do things and somebody says, oh, you're great at this or you did mm -hmm. that great. Like our immediate response is thank you and that's it. And like, that's not a bad thing, right? Like that's what we say. That's weird. Like the world teaches us that that's a good thing and it is. Right. But like how many times we take a step further and say, all glory to God. Like how many times do we give God credit for those things? And that's so something true. I struggle with too, especially like Same. in the legal profession. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of times when people say, oh, you're good at this or you did that so well. Like I'm saying, I'll be like, oh, thank you. And like, I'm kind of quiet to say all glory to God yep. because it's like people gonna look at me crazy if I if I say that exactly but I think that just goes back to like you really have to check your heart posture and really at the end of the day it only matters what God thinks and I'm not trying to stand up in front of my father and he'd be like cool you didn't give me my credit like you were so worried about what a man was gonna say to you because you said thank you instead of all glory to God so that's something I definitely have to work on because I'm really bad about it. like that's something I, I mess up every day so definitely like she said it's it's about your heart make mm -hmm. sure that that spirit of pride isn't anywhere in there because otherwise you're going to start doing things because somebody is watching and because like yep. with these service events like are you willing to do the same thing are you going to go as hard if nobody's watching <laughs> check your heart walk so I mean I just think that's so true and I think that what Paige just hit on is something that I totally just zone out of sometimes as well like when somebody does give me a compliment you think like oh I'm being humble by just saying like oh thank you like I appreciate that but in all actuality you really do need to make sure that not only are you recognizing internally that what you're doing and what your abilities are and your talents and your gifts are coming from God but you also need to put that on display like you need to be proud of representing God just like you would be proud of representing any other organization that you're a part of you should 
be just as adamant about sharing the glorification of God as well. And I think that is such a big thing because you see celebrities um, when they're accepting awards and when people give glory to God and they thank God, it's like this huge ordeal because that's not really known in that particular profession. And it's not really utilized too much in our profession either. And so I think that if we want to be true servants and then translating that into being servant leaders, we must make sure that we're giving glory to God before um, we do anything else. Because at the end of the day, he's the one that's giving us the ability and he's the one that can take it away. So we want to make sure that we're not taking for granted what he's given to us and realize that we should focus on being servants because we are only stewards of the ability that God has given to us. It's nothing that we have. It's what he has given to us. So I think that's very important. Got anything Good. else? No, I'm done. All righty. See, I told y'all we're going to keep it short. See, she is the one that always keeps us long. But you know what? We got through. We still did the message. I hope y'all took a lot from this i hope that when you go into your law school when you go into your job when you go into really anywhere i mean your grocery store or wherever i hope that you are willing to go the extra mile whether that be to help somebody get some off of the shelf to stay an extra hour to help somebody um or to help a client i hope that you will remember this video and remember the scriptures that we share and so you realize that even when you may not want to do something or you might be tired you're realizing that you're not necessarily doing it for that person but you are doing it for christ as a servant for him and he will reward you in heaven because you did that and so i hope that you enjoyed this video we can't wait to come back next week and we will see y'all next week shout out to who was it that came by and spoke to the girl today oh my boo boo is a tell yes, thank you yes, yes, so yes, yes. much um Paige has been telling me how some people from our law school have been coming up to her and telling her um how they've been impacted by our page already and that just means so much to us so thanks we love you we're praying for you and we hope that you have a blessed week bye love y'all